Grand Rising, wonderful souls, and welcome to Bromans Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. Um, thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. I appreciate them all. Thank you for your donations, and thank you for your emails on readings. My readings are now open. Um, if I say he, she, masculine or feminine, male or female, please remember we all hold these energies. Please remember this is a general reading and not a personal one. So if it doesn't resonate, please have a look at some of the other readings that I have on my channel. If none of them resonate, you may actually need to have a personal reading or the messages are just not for you. You've got to take it as it comes. Um, now, I had a dream download last night and I asked my team of highest light and resonance whether I should be sharing it. Is it for everyone? And they said only part. So the part that I'm going to share is... Um, standing outside this massive building and it was daylight, the sun was shining and there were a lot of, lots of people just kind of like milling about and um, I remember there were lots of people going in and out of this building and there was this guy standing quite close to me like on these steps and he, he was saying something but I couldn't hear him because there were so many people going past and like moving around I was like I can't hear you, I can't hear you so he came a bit closer and a bit closer and a bit closer and it got to the point where he was so close that he put his arm around my my waist like almost like that to, to talk to me and I naturally just did the same thing like I knew him and he said um because he was wearing green and green for me is always denoting um that somebody is either friend or foe I won't tell you which one because I don't know who's watching um but also um he said to me that, you know, the people that go in there, he was like, it's kind of hopeless or pointless that they're going in there because I feel like it was a charity of some sort. There was a charity or it was like a homeless shelter or something along those lines or people that went into this building. They went in with hopes and dreams of aspiring to help others. And he was like, it's kind of pointless that they're going in there because they come out looking bedraggled or they come out looking worse than they went in. There's no point trying or something along those lines. And I just remember thinking, OK, that's a bit weird. And there was this um, this energy of physicality, almost like I could feel his skin on my skin. And I knew straight away that this was the energy of somebody who was trying to mask themselves as being a friend or giving advice. OK, because. The energy that's been coming up in a lot of reads is that there is somebody who is coming forward with some sort of humanitarianism um, job or offer that is supposed to be really, really good for you or the person you're thinking of. So whoever this person was is kind of like they're masking themselves and trying now to um, distract or trying to give advice in, a, in a, a friendly way because there was somebody else who was sitting quite close on these steps just watching us very quietly. So let's find out because look, and I open that and what does the first thing say? Protection is key. And then you've got 54 or more Google searches a day. Somebody's watching, somebody is watching you or watching the person you're thinking of, okay? Protection is key at this time, very much. And you've got creative flow and it was upside down. They want to see whether or not they've blocked you in certain places. They want to know whether or not they've blocked your third eye. They want to know whether or not they've been able to um, manipulate dream downloads, if they've been able to um, change your mind or your view. Are you easily malleable now? Okay, and you've got mad, as, mad, as, mad AF. Because you're not, because they're, they're, whoever it is that's watching is watching and then going back and telling whoever, sorry, it didn't work. And you've got the archer, so you have a Sagittarius here. They're mad AF that they haven't been able to bend or break your faith. Oh, well, boo-hoo, shed a tear. So, I'm sorry, but I do not care. And it says on here, earth sign. So you've got an earth sign. You could be an earth sign, but having the archer next to the earth sign you may have a, a sagittarius watching an earth sign okay don't get me to name the earth signs what is it <laughs> taurus virgo or what is the other one why can i never remember i don't know i can't remember and it says on here clones excuse me oh my gosh and then you have that gift parcel that was given to you by a third party, something they didn't need anymore, came to their address by accident. And then on this side, it says, get rid of it. It's hexed. Beauty products, art supplies, writing supplies, envelope, um, an envelope knife, pill box, scarf, hat, mittens or shoes. 
if you are given something, okay, especially as I'm about to put this right next to the card that says protection is key. If you, you know, if you go to your, um, your post box and there's just a gift in there, or, you know, someone leaves something outside your doorstep with a note saying, I don't need this anymore. And I thought you would from a neighbor or blah, blah, blah. You are being told to really use your third eye, really read the energy. Okay. Not, do not be led by fear and go, oh my gosh, I can't touch that because it might not be. Take it as it resonates, okay? And it says here, moon phases, she or he knows, beware. By the time the moon is full, it's coming. Hold on to your hats. Why did I want to, where do you want me to put this? I've been told to put it over here. So something is being planned for the next full moon, especially when it comes to um, them trying to test your faith in some way and you've got a water sign a water sign is being very sneaky and travel okay where would you like me to put this one here so you have a water sign and you have an earth sign okay a water an earth sign trying to block your creative flow and a water sign that's in cahoots or maybe sending something towards you big big payout there's a reason why they want to kind of block you. There's something they're trying to get into your house. Your house is too protected. Get me one more for protection is key. Uh, give me some. Um... Oh, 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 I saw that. I saw you. Portal. They're trying to open a portal in your home. You are the person you're thinking of. Now, do I need any more from here? Okay, give me one more. One more, please, before I go. One more. Now you've got Aquarius, okay, and it's upside down. It says visions, downloads, messages in water, and it's upside down. So this is looking at the shadow aspects of Aquarians, okay, and the shadow aspects of Aquarians can be quite cold and quite calculated. Um, hmm, there's definitely this energy of trying to get into your dream downloads because at this time um, there's a massive energy shift happening and a massive upgrade happening. And as this is happening, your third eye is wide open. You are being told also to look out for somebody who might have, it says the fall on the background and then a tattoo, okay? So to look out for somebody who may have um, some sort of water tattoo because they are actually going to be someone that's gonna help you out. There's, there's some sort of opportunity that's coming with a big payout and there's someone who has either a fish tattoo or a mermaid tattoo or something along those lines. I don't know why that's so important, but it is. That's interesting. Because it says kill on that side and then this. Oh, no, no, no. They're two different ones. Excuse me. It says here karma. And then it says karma is a mirror. Don't cry when your reflection is messy. You put the mess there. Okay, so someone's really angry at the karma that they're getting for what they've done. You've got an X here, an earth sign or a water sign X. You have third eye blockage, trust yourself. And then you have poison chalice, now he's going to die. Uh, long fingers, pointy nails, pentagram and silver. So there's somebody here who's definitely trying to block your third eye so you don't know who it is that comes forward. They are watching you. They check on you daily, your social media accounts. They may check, uh, come and check pa past your house. There's something about what they're Googling. Now, they may have paid someone with that poison chalice. That's also reminding me of um, Archangel Gabriel because his symbol is a silver chalice and it's all to do with emotions this is the reason they're, they're sending something to your house to put a portal in there or to open a portal to your heart okay there's something they're quite worried about when it comes to your faith and why whatever they've done hasn't worked what are they worried or mad about you've got four of cups here to the tower they don't understand how you were able to dip away from a tower they don't understand why you keep dipping away from towers. They don't get it. They don't understand how, how was it that you didn't even see what was coming and still stepped away from it. And I keep hearing protection is key. Protection is key. And you've got king of coins to the nine of swords. To the five of swords. There's something here about um, them, the, the conflict that they're bringing towards you or the argument or whatever it is that they want to bring to you. It takes them out of stress in some way. It takes them out of a sticky situation in some way. And especially as we're going through Lionsgate, 
Lionsgate portal, which goes on until the 12th, everything's been magnified, really magnified. Eight of coins. So that eight of wands. Because something big is coming for you. And I think this is the reason why they're trying to get you to step up. And if I put this here with this karma, somebody is really upset. Somebody is like looking in the mirror while crying and screaming at their at their own their own um, reflection. Because no matter what they've done, it hasn't worked. And this is almost like, um, and especially that this, I don't know if you can see that it was black coming off of this as I was speaking. They're sending stuff constantly. Someone's ex is aware of this. Okay, someone's ex may be traveling forward to try and get um, you to be manipulated or change your mind. There's something about blocking your creative flow. And I know they, uh, I heard they've got a small window of time to do this. There's a small window of time they have to take down your protection or put a portal in there. Because this portal isn't just about your home. Your home actually does protect you a lot. And look how that, ca that, that candle was going mental when I was saying that. It's not just a portal into your home because it's your heart as well. Your home is where your heart is. There's something about poisoning you poisoning you now you've got to take that the way that it resonates for you it, this this is what's going to bring in a lot for them it's going to bring in a lot of abundance for them see the candles going again however and this is something they want to try and bring in quick so whatever it is that's being sent to your home you need to energetically read that okay because your third eye is very very strong at the moment and whoever it is that has been screaming and looking in the mirror i don't think this is the same person who's also been looking at your um profile or googling something 54 times or more a day i feel like this is a second person this is a king of coins this is somebody who does not have a lot of money or somebody who's not very abundant somebody who um especially that clones card it can be if that is what you believe and you believe in clones it can be that that person is a clone but what i'm getting from this is this is a very doppelganger ganger energy there's somebody here and look at that look at the candle going there's a doppelganger energy this person watches you constantly they are obsessed obsessed and the thing is as well is that they're kind of trapped in their own they're trapped in their head they don't know how to get out of their head they don't know how to not be obsessed by your energy by your glow up by you okay i don't know if you are a content creator i don't know if you post on social media quite a lot and it doesn't you don't have to be a content creator it could just be that you like to put photographs up of your day or how your work's going it could be that you're an entrepreneur or that you know you have your own um you're self-employed and that's the way that you advertise your wares and so on and so forth but this person is look at that this person is watching you and there's something about your business because i heard it's going down or burn it down this person here has a, a blocked third eye they have a blocked third eye they can't reach out you did something to cleanse someone who didn't you are being asked to cleanse not only yourself heart chakra mop those floors clean up those counters you know i'm not saying that your house is dirty or anything like that you're just being told whatever it is that you use as a spiritual wash don't just use it in the bath. Use it to wipe down the bath. Use it to wipe down the counters. Use it to, to mop the floor. And do that daily. I heard for 14 days for someone. And for others, you're being told to put it into your daily routine. Whenever it is that you can do that. If you do it first thing in the morning, great. If you do that, you know, just before you go to bed, great. For someone here, it's very important that you do it just before you go to bed. But wipe everything down. It doesn't have to be a deep clean. Wipe everything down because someone is really invested in trapping you because you've got that eight of swords to the ace of ace of coins someone is really invested in trapping you but they're kind of like now especially with this ace of coin in reverse they were so invested in trapping you and being obsessed by what you were doing that they didn't realize how they were magnet they were magnating and manifesting in all of the crap that they were trying to send towards you they've blocked their own third eye there's something about traveling but they don't know how to they don't know where to go they don't know where you are but look that travel also they're traveling broke who are they going to yeah you've definitely got an ex or it doesn't have to be an actual ex it could be an ex-friend it could be an ex-boss an ex-colleague 
somebody who's very sneaky. Now with earth sign as well, that's very much about um, material wealth. It's also to do with the, the, the body, it's to do with um, identity. It's very, to me personally, it's linked to our sac not our sacral chakra, to our root chakra, to identity, to safety, to, to, to material wealth and home and things like that. So there is definitely something here that they're trying to, um, I heard, recreate from when you knew them. The, the thing is as well is that if they're an ex, it's for a reason. That person was cut out of your life for a reason and you are no longer the person you were back then when your boundaries were lower and you allowed them to treat you in a certain way. It's the only reason that people become exes is because we start to see the worth within ourselves. We start growing and evolving and we, we, we kind of shed the skin of the person we were so we won't put up with that ish anymore. But this person, especially with this... Um, why did I think that was a nine? Stop! It's not a nine. It's a four. Is that a four? That's a four of swords. This person is thinking about you constantly. So you have more than one energy here. You have more than one energy coming through. Can I get um, clarification on the five of swords? Five of swords, please. Five of swords. Clarification on the five of swords, please. Wow, I'm seeing like, um, especially with this, there's like someone who screams, someone who's screaming in the mirror, who's been crying, who's really upset, whoever this is, and this karma, moon phases, she or he knows. I don't know if this is like a relationship. By the time the moon is full, it's coming. Hold on to your hat, the archer. This person is so livid. They are livid. Why are they livid? Knight of Wands. Because something didn't go the way that they thought it would. They wanted something big and bad to happen to you. And it didn't happen. And I had credit score zero. Credit score zero. And look what come out. Seven of cups in reverse. They got no options. Absolutely no options. No way of getting out. Running broke. See, this person is broke. It's, why was I getting two different energies? Because I heard it's, it's him and his bitch. Sorry, it's not my words at all. Not my words. This is what's coming through. So they were scammers. Because you've got travel and chariot. But then you've also got chariot in reverse. And you've got this. There was something about kind of like planning to come towards you. Um, I don't know if this ex wanted to come towards you. Something about wanting you to help heal them when it comes to abundance. Be that money. Be that actual, can you give me a handout? Or be that kind of like, can you heal my heart? With a hermit upside down. Again, you should, you know what? If you haven't already, have a look at my previous uh, reading that I put up because it actually talks about the sick house a lot with health and fitness. This person may be coming forward to tell you that they're sick, they're unwell. Five of coins, woe is me, I don't have anything, please help me out. Will you work with me? Um, we can have a new beginning together. I really need your help. There's something also, I don't know if this person has issues with um, erectile dysfunction or something along those lines, but something, or oh, this could be an STI or STD page of ones. Yeah, just be careful. Be careful with whoever this is coming forward because you've got the three of cups here to the chariot. This person really wants to celebrate something with you. What do they want to celebrate? Different deck. Okay, what do they want to celebrate? Hmm. Oh, okay. Let's get those out of What do they want to celebrate with you? Because the thing is, I'm getting a lot of deceit from whoever this person is. A lot of deceit. Like, this person is not trustworthy. Sorry, they're not trustworthy. Sorry, not sorry. Do you know what I mean? They are not trustworthy. And whoever it is that's the screaming banshee over here, this person, and look, you've got Gambler coming out. You should definitely listen to my last reading. And then Avenger on the other side. This person took a gamble of some sort. This person took a gamble of some sort, whoever this, this ex is to you. And I keep seeing this woman over here. She's so vexed, she's angry at you, but she's looked in this person's phone or on this person's search history and seen how many times they have been looking at you or looking at your job or looking at the route you have to go to work or something along those lines. And she's kind of lost her ish because I heard it didn't work or it won't work. 
I don't know if this person, if there, there was some sort of catfishing going on where they were supposed to be catfishing you. And this ex has actually become quite obsessed because you've got gambler. And it says, for the white attributes, it says willing willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you. But in the reverse, it says relying on luck rather than hard work. And it's got, um, this guy's got a scarf over his eyes, just like the third eye blockage, right? Over here. This person, there's something here about not wanting to take the responsibility for their actions. I don't know if this person has actually grown. This person seems very childish, especially with that page of wands coming out. It's, it's almost like the only thing that they want to offer you is a sexual encounter. But maybe that's all they offered you before and there wasn't a lot of depth there. Or maybe they were a friend that caught feels and all they wanted to offer you was that. OK, I hate when people say, excuse me, that's a strong word. I dislike when people say, oh, my gosh, they got friend zoned or she put him in the friend zone. No, friend zone isn't a thing. OK, you either want to be friends with somebody genuinely or you want to shag that person. And if you decide, oh, I'm going to actually just befriend this person because I want to have sex with them and then they only want to be friends with you. She didn't put you in a friend zone or he didn't put you in a friend zone. You put yourself there for having, you know, nefarious um, reasons for wanting to be friends with them in the first place. Let's not start with that. Let's not start with that. And you've got an um, Avenger here as well. Resorting to violence, violence in the name of a cause. So this person, I don't know what these two are involved in, right? But they are definitely, and nefarious seems to be the, de the word of the day. They are involved in some nefarious-ish okay more than just scamming you okay that i don't know i think that might be why this person has got so het up or she's so angry there is something that she saw on the phone or there's something she saw in the computer history or a message and it has left her wailing out she is angry angry it's almost like when you are waiting for your acceptance letter to go to university and um you know that you know your reputation you have to make sure that you are studious and especially if you're applying to like a really big prestigious i can't say the word prestigious university that you can't have photos of you whiling out getting drunk you know um whiling up on a on like a pole or something from like five years before when you used to be messy and loud you can't have that out on facebook or on whatever social media you're on and it's giving me that energy of her finding something and going are you effing kidding me and being so angry because it's not just about breaking your and look at how I don't know if you saw that the black was coming out it's not just about um breaking your faith it's almost like this person was waiting for some sort of communication to be told yes you can come into you can come in and work with us or yes you got that promotion or yes you got that but something came out whether it was something that you said something that you uploaded something along those lines that's going to give you the promotion and not give her the promotion and this is the reason she's so angry because there seems to be um layers to the things that are happening it's not just i'm angry at you because he's been looking at you or I'm angry at you because I wasn't able to break your faith. There seems to be a lot that's kind of at play for this person. You've got a child divine in reverse, an inability to defend oneself against negative forces. This person over here may have been playing with fire, playing with, because um, I heard playing with the big boys, okay? And this person doesn't have any protection, be that spiritual or be that physical, all right? And there's the karma this seems to be her um her lesson and i don't say that with malice that's literally the lesson the universe has been sending to her because you've got destroyer upside down intoxication with destructive power destroying others dreams or potential this this person is a bully this person is a bully and it's almost like um being given an assignment like think of an assassin for example they'll be given like a caseload you've got to go and do this person this person this person make sure you get it done within a month um this person it needs to look like natural causes this person it needs to look like actually it was a hit so that we you know send it out that message out to everyone else that's what i'm getting from this person almost like um that bully energy it's like whoever it is that she's working with or wants to work with 
They've said to her, you have to do this, this and this by this time. You have to do this, this and this. You either do it really sneakily or you do it in front of everybody, which is why we've also got Poison Chalice. Now he's going to die. Long finger, fingers, pointy nails, pentagram ring and silver. So I don't know if this person was trying to get themselves initiated into a coven or they were part of a coven. They were trying to get themselves into a bigger group or network or something like that. And it went wrong. It went wrong. They did too much. They did way too much. And they're still trying. They're still trying. And this person is just like screaming. She's so angry. She's, she's like, ah! she like, I'm surprised she's not punching the mirror. And whoever this person is, I'm getting like a masculine, but it's like weak. The energy is weak. And I don't mean like, oh, you're lame. You are weak. I mean, like it's distant. So I don't know if this person was very, they were connected. They could have been in a couple or something. This It could have been the ex. She could be the ex. She could be your ex. She could be the, the crazy ex. Or the masculine could be the ex. But this person is like obsessed with watching you. They're obsessed with watching you. Alchemist, because you're an alchemist, because you transform the transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom, because you transform absolutely everything that has been sent to you. Every time that they have tried to break your faith, every time they have tried to break you, just like the archer, you have continued, even when it has been difficult, even when you're like, oh my gosh, I'm questioning my faith. You then ask yourself those questions. Why am I? What can I do to change that? How can I love myself more? And this has just stumped this person, but it's really inspired this person over here. It's really inspired this person over here. This ex, if this is your ex, this person wants to come forward. Because you've also got femme fatale. Highlights the erotic energy of the feminine, opens your heart with when your dependency is rejected. This person fantasizes about you. There may be like this 54 or more Google searches per day. They may be looking at your social media at photographs of either when you two were together or photographs of when you are wearing a bikini or you're just in like your, you know, and if you're a man, just in your in your um, swim shorts, for example. But there's there's something about a photograph of you by a pool as well. And then you've got using the power of romantic attraction for private agendas is upside down. I don't know if this is what they did, if it's an incubus, succubus kind of energy. But this person over here definitely does. And you've got moon faces. They, she may be trying to do something to change um, how you are manipulated or try. And she's keeping it quiet. Keeping it quiet that she's vexed. She is a vex. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh dearie me, the drama of it all. Let me have a look, you want to get those ones out of my head. Let's have a look at you, shall we? Wow, we've got the star. Yeah, she's keeping it quiet while she mixes up her little potions, you know, to see what else she can send towards you. It's to keep you in some sort of karmic cycle. It seems that this person has not lost, they haven't learned their lesson, even though karma is trying to teach them that because karma is exactly what it says on the back. It's nothing more than a mirror. It will reflect back at you, your actions, your intentions. Um, because, you know, for every positive and negative action and intention, there is an equal positive or negative reaction. And she's not learning this. She's literally not learning this. You've got three of pentacles to the death. She's definitely looking into who she can get to help her. Who can she get to help her? Because this is it's personal. To her, it's personal. It's almost like you're taking away opportunities for her to grow as, I'm hearing like a dark witch or as a dark high priestess. There's something that she really likes about that or she, has no, she wants the notoriety of doing that. Not just in the small coven that she might be in, but in something larger, an institution that's larger. Yeah, look, you've got justice upside down. In an in a institution that's a lot larger, that's quiet, that's, you know, secretive. And you've got Knight of Swords to justice. The ones that whisper in the background, the ones that, you know, they have a lot of power, but no one sees them. And I heard above the law. What do my collective need to know, though, for themselves? What do they need to know for themselves? Nine of Cups, something beautiful is coming to you though, especially when it comes to injustice, especially with whatever this person has done to you in the past, whether you knew it or not. Because there was some sort of delay or slowdown for your finances, for, I heard for your recognition as well in the work that you do. But you've got Nine of Cups. 
Okay, this is a wish fulfillment. Something is coming in for you. Whether this is actually the justice system or whether it's just something that felt very unfair at the time, whether that is losing a job when you shouldn't have, be that being made homeless when you should not have, be it, um, you know, uh, losing that partner and finding out they were cheating, ha the unfairness of that, the betrayal of it, especially with Queen of Cups upside down. If there's been something that has happened that has been just so cold, you know, so nasty and so cold, you're being told that... You're being told that a wish fulfillment is coming to you because of how you've handled this, because of how you've got through this, because her wish fulfillment here, this person may be a sociopath. I'm getting that this person either has anti antisocial behaviour, um, what's the name? It's narcissistic personality disorder, but it's now been called antisocial behaviour syndrome or something like that, or she is a sociopath. OK, because I'm getting real cold energy from this person that she enjoys. She enjoys seeing other people in pain. It's more than just being like a sado, you know, S&M, like a sadist and a mas mas masochist. I can never say it. It's more than that. This person enjoys seeing others in pain and she's now getting her own karma. This is the reason why she wants to be part of this group or this society. And she is angry that you keep knocking her down at every corner. She's been given her assignment. She's been given whatever it is that she's supposed to do. And it's supposed to be taking you down or the person that you're thinking of, or at least breaking you. And she cannot do it. She literally can't do it. That's why she's mad AF. She can't do it. She cannot do it. And you've got seven of pentacles to the knight of swords. It's also because you've been working in silence. This is another reason. I don't know if she's also been looking, you know, watching you, watching your social media, watching what you're doing. Is it working? Is it working? But you've been moving in silence. Six of Pentacles. You've been moving. Is it got six and then seven? Everything is actually going in the order that it should do. Okay. She doesn't know that though. She can't see behind the scenes because you're keeping quiet. You're keeping your head down and you're getting on with it. You're doing the work. Whether that is physical work, working on a project, you know, connecting with the, the wider community to network and find those people that are your people to help you with that project. Or whether it is working on yourself, healing parts of yourself, upping your protection. Four of Cups. Because you are the high priest or high priestess. You see this. You see what's coming. And if you don't already, you're going to. Your visions are going to, you know, your downloads are going to... Um, to upgrade they're going to become more clearer your vision is going to be clearer you're going to read people's energy clearer and this angers her but it's kind of besotted whoever this masculine is for you it's besotted this person this person feels like you might have put a spell on them even though you haven't and i heard a siren's call irrespective of gender a siren's call two of swords yeah you've definitely got someone here who is watching you they want to come towards you they don't know if you will actually um Take them. You've got Princess of Swords coming out. They want to sweet talk you. There's something about wanting to try and sweet talk you. Eight of Wands is coming out again. Eight of Wands to the Five of Cups. This ex wants to come back into your life. Or this ex can, like I said, ex friend, the one who caught feels that didn't say anything. Whoever that is for you, this person, expect some sort of communication from this person. There's something here about fast healing, okay? Fast healing, the next five weeks, next five months, something to do with, I had body autonomy. For someone, body autonomy. Princess of Wands is in reverse. I don't know if this is sexual frustration or sexual blockage, sacral blockage, womb healing, issues with your ovaries or with your seed. Um, remember, I'm not a doctor. So these are just, this is just energy that is channeling through. Take what resonates and if it does, Go and speak to your doctor about that, okay? But there's something about some sort of blockage being healed. Someone's sensuality being healed. And I did I said sensuality, not sexuality, okay? Um, <clears throat> sensuality, something about a Kundalini arising. You are being viewed as, um, because you are properly that bitch, irrespective of gender. Someone that really likes your curves or you're starting to feel yourself more and kind of, you know, look at yourself and go, actually, I am. Check me out. And people are noticing this. People are noticing this. You've got the Knight of Wands here to the Ten of Wands. Part of you loving yourself is what is actually removing blockages for you in your health, 
in be that mental health, physical health, emotional health, spiritual health, financial health, whatever that is for you, it's removing these blockages. And I think this is another reason why this person over here, I'm going to call her the screaming banshee, is so butthurt because she's now realizing all this jazz that she's trying to do, you know, that poison chalice now he's going to die isn't working. So it comes full circle back to this, um, this thing that they want to send to your house. Because your, your third eye is so open, read that energy for what it is. And if it is something that you think is hex or you think it's got bad juju on it, throw that shit out. Don't even bring it into your house. Okay, temperance and princess of pentacles. Princess of Pentacles is upside down. All right, you're being told also there may be a little bit of delay in the finances coming in for you or abundance coming in for you in some way, but you're being told to just, you know what, chill because it's coming. It is coming. I heard hold on just a little bit longer. Hold on just a little bit longer. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. And for anyone, the things as well is that if you put in the comments, well, I've been waiting for ages and blah, blah, blah. You have to take what resonates for you. It's going to either resonate or it won't. If it doesn't, that message wasn't for you. Now you've got Ace of Swords to the Ace of Cups. Okay, there is definitely a message coming through. I don't know if this person is going to start messaging you or trolling you or if you have like a business website, start, you know, putting fake bad reviews. There's something along those lines. If you are, let's say, for example, a YouTuber, um, you may start noticing that you're having more messages saying, well, that's bullshit, or that doesn't happen, or you didn't do that right, or that's not what it means. Rah, 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 rah. Expect there to be a kick up or an uptake in people having their nose put out a joint because you are shining authentically and because you are not dimming to fit in. Expect that because the more you're getting of this, it means the closer you're getting to your actual goal. All right. And with the temperance, just breathe and be impeccable with your words. Be impeccable with your words. Um, do not take it personally. I really, really su I suggest um, and encourage, because it's such a good book, to read a book by um, Martinez. I can't remember his surname. It's called The Four, um, the Four Agreements. The first one is being impeccable with your words. The second one is not to take it personally. Because if you don't take anything personally, whether that is a compliment or a dig at you, if you don't take it personally, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter what anyone throws towards you because you just let it slide off your back like water off a duck's back. Okay? You've got the world and you've got the hierophant. I'm telling you, something's coming towards you that is going to open up the world like an oyster and it's going to come through some sort of institution, be that, um, what's the word? Courts? There's definitely a legal matter coming up here. I think this is the reason why this person is so stressed out. I heard, don't leave the door open. What does that mean? Magician and the Ten of Cups. If you're manifesting right now, if you're manifesting right now, you're being told, do it, keep doing it, because it's going to bring in your Ten of Cups, it's going to bring in exactly what you've been waiting for. You have got the Devil card underneath, okay, with the Five of Wands to the Two of Cups. This is also telling me, though, that somebody is manifesting to walk away from addictive behaviours or moving away from conflicting behaviours or habits that are no longer good for them so that they can actually come into union with whoever it is they're supposed to come into union with, whether that's themselves or somebody else. And you've got the Wheel of Fortune. This is looking good for you, mate. And the four, the four of Wands as well. This is safety, security, Ace of Pentacles coming in. Do you know what? This is happy times. I don't know what's going in with this uh, screaming banshee, but she can scream by herself. I'm going to leave it there. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated for you, I would love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my lovely content. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Absolutely love you guys. Trying to do a heart with her. Actually, looking at my hands is weird. Um, Anyone that feels moved to leave a donation, it's never expected, but it's always deeply appreciated because it means I can put more time, more love and more cards into this channel. Anyone that would like to have a personal reading, all of my information is in the description box down below. With that being said, I hope you guys have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. I'll see you later. Bye bye.